My name is Jim Shake from Queen Mary Innovation, who are the Technology Transfer Office of Queen Mary University. We support the commercialization of university generated research. This presentation describes the QMI commercialization process, which is the process through which intellectual property or IP generated by Queen Mary academics is commercialized. Academic research often leads to the development of intellectual property, i.e. novel and inventive ideas, concepts and technologies that may have a commercial value. QMI aims to support academics in the commercialization of IP, and this is normally in the form of licensing royalties and or shares in spin out companies. Commercialization of IP generated by research is also a component of the QMUL 2030 strategy, as this delivers impact from the work conducted at QMUL. In order to be effective in the commercialization of research IP, QMI follows a stage gate process, and this presentation aims to present and describe this process. There are five distinct stages to the QMI process, and Although the process has a start point and an end point, similar to research, the process is not normally linear. Stage one is the starting point of the process and is the disclosure of the invention, idea, concept or technology to the QMI. This is achieved through the completion of a TDF or technology disclosure form. And once completed, the TDF is registered on the QMI IP system and a preliminary review is undertaken. All QMI reviews or evaluations are based on five criteria. The technology itself, the intended market, the status of the IP, project finances and funding, and finally, the route to market entry. As the QMI process progresses, these five evaluation criteria remain constant with the depth of the evaluation increasing. If the opportunity passes in the evaluation for stage one, then the project moves to stage two. In stage two, the project develops in terms of the technology and IP, with a more detailed commercial assessment undertaken in terms of the intended market and product market fit. The aim is for the project to develop along all five criteria with support from QMI. Once again, there's an evaluation of the project using all the five criteria at the end of stage two. In stage three, the outcomes from stage two are used to develop a full commercial or business plan for the opportunity. Key to this plan will be the identification of the pathway to commercialization with identified targets, milestones and deliverables across all five evaluation criteria. At the end of stage three, the plan is reviewed by the QMI team and passes to stage four. All projects require funding to transition from research outcomes to a commercial proposition. proposition. The project may have ticked all the boxes, but will not develop without a source of funding. The commercial plan will have identified potential sources of funding, and in stage four, the aim will be to release the funding, implement the plan, and deliver on the outputs, targets, and milestones. However, similar to research, the development of the commercial opportunity is not linear, and generally projects cycle between stages two, three, and four in order to deliver on the commercial plan. When the project has delivered on the commercial plan, the project is generally ready for launch in stage five. This is either in the form of a licensing partnership with a company or the formation of a QMUL spin out company that aims to commercialize the IP or technology. The aim here is to exit through some form of company sale. Post launch, QMI will continue to support the project either through the management and monitoring of the licensing agreement or supporting the spin out in the early stages of growth before a management team is installed and additional funding obtained. This slide shows how we would hope for the technology to develop through the process based on increasing TRLs or technology readiness levels. Once again, the start point, TRL 2 or 3, and the end point, TRL 7 or 8, are well defined. The commercialization process is designed to drive the TRL from start to end and successful projects are able to achieve this. 
This slide shows the approximate durations for each of the stages. However, given the uncertainty around funding and the technology development meeting the objectives, the actual process can take many months. But there is an upper bound on the time schedule, and this is given by the patent filing timeframe. Patent filing and management is a very expensive process, and whilst there is a limited QMUL budget for initial filings, in general, we will need to find a commercial partner to finance the patent grant process. This means that the commercial partner needs to be in place when the patent fees become due, which is in general 30 months from the filing date. This means that once a patent is filed, we have 30 months in which to commercialize the opportunity or we will have to let the patent lapse. As the majority of our opportunities are based on a patent, this gives us a hard deadline for the commercialization process of 30 months or two and a half years. I hope that this presentation on the QMI commercialization process has been useful. Please feel free to contact the QMI technology and engineering team if you have any queries or would like further information. Thank you.